Okay, so here's example two with a product rule. So we have a g of t equals t times e to the t minus 3t squared times cosine of t. So it uh, looks like kind of a mess, right? But remember, the sum and difference rules tell us that we can just differentiate term by term. So in other words, we can uh, just focus on one term at a time, and that'll help simplify things. So let's just go ahead and do that. Uh, so we want to find uh, g dot. Let's say we want to find g dot uh, of t. And remember, we could just as well say dg dt or g prime to t, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but anyway, um, so we're just going to focus on the first term here. Uh, so let's actually write it like this. Uh, d dt times t e to the t. So I, I want to do it like this uh, in a little more detail because there's a point I want to make. Uh, minus d dt of uh, 3t squared cosine of t. Okay. So uh, here, uh, what are we going to Let's zoom in a little bit. So we have t times e to the t. So remember, the uh, product rule tells us that's going to be derivative of the first thing, which is uh, d dt of just t, times just the second thing, and then plus uh, just the first thing times the derivative of the second thing. OK. So uh, this comes from the first term here. So that's just from the first term. And now uh, with the second term, what do we have? Minus uh, 3 is just a constant. So let's go ahead and pull that out. Minus 3 times uh, d dt of t squared cosine t. So yeah, we probably could go a little farther with this right here. Uh, but let's hold off on that for now. Um, we'll just keep bringing it down until we're done with this here. So this is going to be. Uh, d dt of t, okay, in other words, derivative of t with respect to t is just 1, right? So this is 1 times e to the t. And then what do we have here? Plus uh, this t times, what's the derivative of e to the t? It's just e to the t, right? So that's uh, t times e to the t here. Okay, so that's that. Um, and now what we have is minus 3 times what? Times d dt of t squared cosine t. So uh, let's zoom back out a little bit here. So remember, this was uh, derivative of the first thing times just the second thing plus uh, just the first thing times the derivative of the second. So um, what we're going to have is uh, derivative of the first thing, which is d dt of t squared, times just the second thing, and then plus uh, just the first thing times the derivative of the second thing. So if you're following closely, um, you'll, you're probably saying right now, hey, wait a minute, you're missing something. Uh, and yeah, I am. What am I missing? Well, I'm missing parentheses around here. Okay? And uh, those are absolutely vital and very, very important that you uh, remember those. Um, so here, d dt of t squared times cosine t. Okay, just that by itself, if we ignore all this other stuff here, uh, just that by itself is going to be equal to all this stuff here. Okay, d dt t squared times cosine t plus uh, this first times the derivative of the second guy, right? Um, if we ignore all the stuff here, yeah, we're going to have that. But we have this minus 3 in front of it, so we got to be very careful because this minus 3 is being multiplied by this entire derivative. So we have to have minus 3 uh, and then parentheses around this whole thing here. So we got to be very careful with that, all right? Uh, just to point out, you know, there's nothing special about the fact that it's a 3. You know, if this were just minus with no 3, you know, uh, it would just be the same thing. So always watch out for your parentheses and your minus signs and things like that. Okay? So anyway, uh, continuing with this then, um, this is just e to the t plus t e to the t, right? And then what do we have in here? Minus 3 times what's going on in here? Uh, d dt of t squared, we know that's 2t. Uh, then we're just multiplying by the cosine of t there, right? Um, and then what's here? t squared is just t squared and then times the derivative of cosine of t. The derivative of cosine, remember, was a uh, negative sign. So we have minus sine of t, all right? And then uh, other parentheses out here. So uh, what we get is e to the t plus t e to the t minus uh, 3. Yeah, let's go ahead and do, uh, do it like this. Minus 3 times 2t cosine t. Uh, and then uh, what's going to happen here, not plus, but minus, right? Plus t squared times negative sine t. 
So that becomes minus t squared sine t. All right. So now um, let's go ahead and distribute the negative three into here. So I want to keep this on the same screen. So let's actually, oops, let's uh, just erase this stuff here. And uh, I'm way too lazy to go pick that up. So let's just take this. Um, this is going to equal e to the t plus t e to the t. Uh, if we distribute the minus 3, we're going to have is minus 6t cosine t. Uh, and then minus 3 times minus t squared sine t becomes plus 3t squared sine of t. All right? And that's our answer for uh, g dot, or in other words, the derivative of t, or the der derivative of g with respect to t. So here's g of t t e to the t minus 3 t squared cosine t, and then here's its derivative, uh, g, g dot of t equals this stuff in here. Um, so I want to point out real quick, uh, we're pretty much done with this, I just want to point out, here's e to the t plus t e to the t, so some people uh, do prefer to write that kind of in factored form, um, so the common factor was e to the t, so we can just write that as 1 plus t uh, quantity times e to the t, like that, and then the rest is still the same. So that's just a brief FYI. Uh, and that's example two with the product rule.